Hello everyone. Hello Funky Sword of Pop. Hello. Hello. So today we're just gonna be playing some bed wars. I thought it was kind of a chill stream today, especially because I've got like kind of stuff to talk about. Like with other like streams I'd usually talk about the game, but I've got like I've got stuff has just gone down this like past like week. Not like, stuff that's gone down necessarily. Just I just want to talk about stuff, really. There's just stuff to talk about. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to play 40v40. I haven't played this in a while. Um, but yeah, but basically. Um, so let's talk about today. Today I only had... Um, today I only had biology and then for the rest of the day i was um and then the rest of the day i was like revising and shit um so this morning okay let's talk about this morning so basically for context in biology we're doing a um like practical with like mazes and like maggots and stuff because basically um maggots will when like such as food stuff they'll turn right and then most of the time they'll turn left because if they turn right again and then right again they'll just go in a circle so they usually turn right and then turn left um so just do an experiment on that and we need to actually we had to actually like make the mazes so i was like wait oh shit i haven't made the mazes i don't have scissors or glue like i don't usually carry scissors or glue with me i usually just keep like a pair of scissors at home at my mom's um just for like all of us to use and they're literally a pair of hair scissors so you know whatever and how has kip server put out the my live notification for my son or whatever but yeah so um so anyways i got my um dad to buy me si i got and i was like hey and when i was like on my way to college i was like hey dad can we go and like buy can i just go and buy some you know some like this is Harvard what's Starbird I don't even know um but like basically we were like um where is it but basically we were like uh, so I went I didn't shop to get like scissors and glue for one pair of scissors one pair of scissors for one pair of scissors and one glue stick. One glue stick. It cost me eight pounds for one pair of scissors and one glue stick. Why? Why did it cost so much? You know? So anyways, I get into college. I make the thing, whatever. I make the maze and then I do a little bit of revising for um and then i do a little bit of you know revising for um biology then i have then i have my actual class you know so anyways so anyways i'm just there you know i might as well just say it's not but that's one that keeps getting compromised um but yeah so anyways we're in biology we get the we're doing the thing and why are they always targeting this bed? Why why is all star always star bed? I should go down and get some fireballs. But anyways, we're on Ah fucking hell. But anyways, we're on our way, you know, doing doing our little experiment. Um We don't like get all the experiments like done. We didn't get all the, the maximum results we needed. We needed like thirty like 30 results, 30 pieces of data per team and per like pair 
to like zero you know and we only had i think we only had like 15 pieces of data so we just shared with like um to our right but i think that's quite bad so we just shared with um like my two mates are in the class right my like two other mates because like literally the front desk it's literally me and my three friends in the class, like the three people I talk to the most in that class. Um, so yeah, anyways, my heartbeat is off, bloody hell. Um, but anyways, we were just, you know, chilling, doing whatever. Um, like doing like our little experiment. So we, and we did it and Anyways, we start like putting like the equipment away and um, I think literally right after we put the equipment away, literally no joke, um, like the teachers like are like outside and be like, oh, we need, there's like an announcement being like, oh, the college is in lockdown, the college is in lockdown. And I was like, wait, is there an intruder in the college? Like, it's like they're just someone who like brought like, a knife in, knife in or whatever, that doesn't do like food stuff or whatever. Or like, you know, like anything like similar to that where you would need a knife, you know? Um, um, so like, yeah. So I was just thinking like, oh, did someone just bring a knife in and then like, or was just some people like threatening security or whatever and somehow managed to get into like college so anyways we're just like waiting and i was like wait is this an actual thing and for context each year we do like a at my college each year we do like a like training lockdown um but we didn't know anything about it because basically um there was like a debriefing or like a staff meeting going on like this morning my teacher just like didn't know anything about it <laughs> so she was just really so basically it was literally just like a practice drill it wasn't like an actual lockdown it was just like a practice lockdown just so the first years know about it which is really weird to do it like halfway through the year seeing as though like like i'm pretty sure when i when i did it like when we did it last year like the practice lockdown i think we did it earlier in the year i could be wrong but whatever um but when we did it, I'm pretty sure it was like earlier in the year. I could be wrong, but it might have been earlier in the, like, like earlier than January. Cause our like school years are you know September to um our like September to um July, Ju no September to June, like most schools. I know it. I know it's um different in Australia. Um, they do like calendar year instead of like education year because of the different, different like times, tiny, tiny thingy, bob. You know, different hemisphere and stuff. So, anyways, back onto the story. So apparently, it was just literally a like practice drill. Like the first years, and why isn't my sound working? Um, uh, music and sound. Is it playing for the wrong speakers? Um, it could be just playing to the wrong speakers. Wait, I'll be a second. Is my is what going to my head? It's really great. Okay, so we're just going to my headphones, but I think it's literally just, um, where would I change, like, outputs? 
whatever, whatever. So yeah, it was literally just a practice like lockdown. But I was like, wait, what the fuck? Because of because my teacher didn't know that we were having a practice lockdown, like today. Oh shit! Both our like the beds are in the pack. But anyways, we were like, eh, yeah, whatever. But then we went back, so everything was like the I think it was either the principal or like someone or like another teacher came around and was like, hey, everything's chill, everything's good. Get you can get back to it, like your work now. So anyways, we're back doing our work, just like filling in our lug box, you know, doing like the tables and shit. Um, doing our little tables uh, and, you know, shit like that. Um, you know, doing all that stuff. It feels weird not having, like, Minecraft noises. I might try and change that in a minute. Um, wait. Let me look up. Um, how to change audio output to Minecraft 1.8.9. Um, um, because it should be here, but that's they updated that. Um, broadcast settings, no. Where would it be? Um, oh, loading, loading up a text pack to change it. Change the output. There we go. It's because of my text pack, that's why. Let's see, does it actually... There we go! Yeah, that was normal now. It was because of my fucking texture pack that I have on. Bloody hell. So anyways, so we get back to our work, whatever. I got like most of it done. It's like, there's like one question that I still haven't done. But like, my teacher was like, oh, we can probably just like finish it off in like the first like 10 minutes of like next lesson, which is on Monday. So we'll just probably just finish it off on Monday. Um... I mean, we'll probably get, um, pro whenever we get our, like, lab books back, whatever, because this is our, like, second, um, okay, I'm just turning shut down. Uh, I'm definitely turning shut down, it's like, fucking good. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that, that I'll keep that. I'll keep that. Um, but yeah, we get back to doing our work, whatever. Um, and then our teacher is like, you know what? If you finish, you can go. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go. If the twenty five I only had one, the twenty five I started a question last. I was like, I was like the one of the last ones in the class. Ah shit! Ah shit! One of our beds has been compromised. Bloody fucking hell! Yeah. We'll probably have to keep this one going then. Does this one have like a second obsidian or some shit? Oh wait, I'm fucking at I'm at a fucking heart bed. This is a gold square bed now. Um but yeah. We've just been like it's just, I've just been revising basically all day. I got food like right after I got food like right after lesson and then I went straight back to like revising, chilled out for a bit. Um, I wasn't sure if my one of my bio if my biology one of my biology part sessions was on this week or, or not. It wasn't, so I was just like, you know what, I'll chill out for a bit, do a little bit of extra biology revision, and then uh, if it's not on, I'll I'll like, leave like. Almost an hour earlier than I would usually. And oh my god, that is so loud. Um, I'll turn it down a little bit. Maybe. I'll turn it down like a bit. Oh fuck! 
Okay, we gotta help. Let's give me it. Okay, come on. Come on, dude. Oh, fuck. Almost took me off the edge. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna play like solos or something. But yeah. It was just kind of a chill day, I guess. Uh, solos. Um, but yeah. And also, la last night was parents' evening. And my fucking psychology teacher, basically, for context, the other, like, the other day, I think it, was, it might have been yesterday, it might, no, it was Wednesday, I think. Yeah, it was Wednesday, it was Wednesday. We did a little, like, oh, post-Christmas, like, icebreaker. I was like, I'm a teacher, like, oh, tell us something interesting about yourself. I, and I told her I streamed on Twitch, and she was like, hey, what's Twitch? I don't know what that is. I'm trying to follow that. And she was like, oh, it's Twitch, and I, like, explained it to her, and... Yeah, whatever. Um, so I explained it to her, and she was like, oh, cool. And my, and then, last night, it was parents' evening, she fucking snitched to my parents that I did Twitch. Luckily, she didn't explain it very well. She was like, oh, she plays games on Twitch. And I was like, yeah, that's what I do. And my mom luckily doesn't know what Twitch is. So, I was like, oh, it's so you can play with your mates and stuff. Lies. So she probably thinks it's like, similar to Discord or whatever. So, yeah. My dad, my dad probably knows what Twitch is. Um, yeah, my dad probably knows what Twitch is. Um, but whatever, you know. I might try and get a yellow set. And my dad probably knows what to do, but he probably knows I stream anyway. Cause remember the other week, last week, like last week. They're going for the kill. Oh fuck. Okay, I died. But we could still get a final. Um but yeah, it was kinda of chill, whatever. Um my yeah, my dad probably knows what Twitch is, but he probably already knows, so whatever, I don't mind. Um what else? What else? Um, this dude, I swear. Okay, how much do I have? I only have six up. I'll be five. Final. That's a final. There we go. Uh, okay. I need to get more. And why is it still got presents? It's like presents. Give in two hundred and fifty presents in bedwars. Cool. So yeah. Other than that, parents evening was like decently chill. I guess it was like whatever. I really didn't want to um like go to it, but my mom made me. It was like online as well, and it was like super awkward as well. So, yeah, whatever. Um, oh yeah, I can probably just use yellow gen as well. I just feel whatever resources they had. I feel like my better skills are like somewhat improving. I'm probably just better. Um, yeah, I like psychology, but, you know. <laughs> I think that's the only complaint I have of my um, psychology teacher that she, she, like, 
which I love it. I mean, it was kind of my fault because I literally said in class that, like, is blue gone? Yes. Okay. So I did say that, like, oh, I do talk to whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I didn't tell her, like, everything I do on Twitch. I didn't tell her, like, I could play her game. She was like, oh, she was like, oh, what games do you play? And I was like, and I was like, oh, I play, like, Sims and Minecraft mainly, you know. Because that, that is mainly what I do. I mainly do play Sims and Minecraft. Like, literally, this is a Minecraft stream right now. Um, but yeah, I didn't tell that I had a game because I was like, I'm a very awkward person in chat, in, not in chat, in, in class, so it was like, it was like, I didn't want to, like, be more awkward, I guess, because I want to try and go to diamond. Um, but yeah, I'm a very awkward person in class, so I felt like, I was just being awkward, but whatever. All I all I'm hoping now is that my sister's boyfriend doesn't snitch about what Twitch is, because I know he watches Twitch. I think he he probably knowing him, he probably mostly watches like like um like FIFA stuff or whatever. Um or like Rocket League or whatever. <laughs> Um, but, you know. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, wait, that's the new uh, rotating item, isn't it? Fuck you, then. No. Fuck. I mean, I killed Apple. Oh, it's literally just me and Pink left. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need more diamonds. I also need... Uh, I just need iron. I did all that on iron. Uh, okay, just grab a ton of that. Grab a ton. Oh! Fuck! They have diamonds. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <sighs> Random. Yeah, at least I got second on that. That was pretty good actually. That was pretty good for like a solo game for me at least. Why hasn't Game Tones gone out? Whatever. 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 I'll probably I'll probably manually send out the notification myself. Yeah, after next game. Um what else do I have here? What else do I have to say? What other stories do I have? What other stories do I have? Um, um, I don't even remember. I feel like I had like a ton of stories to tell you and like those two were the main ones. Whatever, I guess. Those two were the main ones, I guess. Um, I could go over there and claim diamonds. But I don't want to do that. Now. Okay, blue bed is fun. I want to. Okay, blue is over there. Red is literally right next to there. Pink is. Okay, red, pink. I'm only separated from pink, from red even by, um, diamonds, so, um, oh yeah, the voting chain I own, it's 40 things, it's what, I don't play, I don't play Hypixel as much as I used to, I remember back in the old days, <laughs> like two years, like two and a half years ago, almost three years ago, I literally streamed mostly Bedwars. Like, I'll probably check it, like, after stream. Okay, 
is that just red just being like a boss i guess oh fuck no oh fuck no oh fuck no i'm going this way you better not come this fucking way oh it's the light blue okay aqua even oh fuck no I'm just doing that to get the mid. Fuck no. Fuck, fuck you, fuck no. I don't think I could still have to manually fight in red. Um, what well, all was red just going there for the damage? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna quickly run over here for emeralds. Okay, red I think is just going to diamonds, so I'm not sure. Okay, I have two emeralds. Okay, 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 they're making they're making a bridge. I think they're making a bridge over here. Okay. Oh fuck off. Oh fuck off! This is what Bedwars games are like for me. And my bed is probably gone. Yep. Okay. My best bet is to not. Uh, never mind. Okay, just a minute. Um, let's see. My earliest stream. Okay, videos. Videos. Can I not do it from... Oh, fuck. Oh! I, I just... Some of my older videos are kind of kind of doing, like, decently. Oh! My Little Miss Fortune playthrough from, like, two weeks ago has 19 views. Okay, I don't get many views on YouTube, so shush. Um... Um, let's see. And my Ninjago Iceberg video. My Ninjago Iceberg stream has 47 views. Okay. Okay, this is me just having to scroll down to my earliest videos. And I uploaded so much during summer. Like, I'm only on. To be fair, I'm on stuff that is like almost a year old by now holy shit <laughs> the hardcore cry was a year ago oh my god i missed this here for it's ccfmp oh my oh my god i just realized the ctsmp is almost Two years old. The CCSB is almost two years old. I swear to fuck. <laughs> okay, let's see. My earliest shit. Okay, that is Minecraft, I believe. Not Minecraft, um, Bed Wars, my first one that I uploaded, and then that's Survival. Um, that's my first kind of, kind of, kind of trailer. Redstone, Redstone. Bed Wars, Redstone. Making pride flags. Redstone. Sims. Hypixel. I, I didn't upload that many Hypixel streams, actually. Like, early on. Um... I mean, I did a lot with Gem in the early days, you know. Uh, some TikTok comps because my mic died and I didn't know how to stream from my phone then. Um, and got more survival, high pixel survival, 
Sims uh, High Pixel <laughs> Been in my server which Okay that that is all my server is almost two years old. It is two years old in six days. That is fucking crazy. I got a first live stream. I can't believe that was so long ago. Like I remember recording that with Danny. That was so fun. Uh oh my god. That was when Minecraft single player met my favourite teachers. That was when um, 1.17 had all like the snapshots. Had all like <laughs> Sugar, hello, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, Jax. Hello, slime. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, Matt. Sugar, hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. I was just reminiscing on the good old days of Bedwars in 2020. <laughs> but yes, hello everyone. Hello. Okay, let's actually get back into another game. But hello. Hello. Greetings everyone. Hello Raiders. Hello. How How, how is this stream? I know it's there for like part of it, but hello everyone. Hello. You know what is so weird? I have, we have arrived. Yes. You know what's so weird? I have my um, twitch studio overlay to the over to like a different to the opposite side to what i used to have it so now that is just so weird just winning peak performance definitely definitely just vibing just absolutely vibing right now but yes hello hello you just missed my story about how my psychology teacher snitched my psychology teacher snitched that I do YouTube to my parents. You have to win this game now. The pressure is on. The pressure is on now. Uh oh. Luckily, luckily, my mum doesn't know what Twitch is. So, and I just told her, hey, it's just where I can play games with my friends. So she probably just thinks it's another form of Discord. Why the fuck is someone here now? What the fuck? Well, that's very lucky then. Yeah, exactly. Let's 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 hope my sister's boyfriend doesn't snitch. I didn't tell my parents for ages. Well, for me, it's coming up on f f almost three years, and my parents just probably think I play with my friends like all the time, like every Friday. I just talk to myself. You know, it's coming up on three years and I still don't know. And why is someone the fucking. Uh, why the. This is such a tr fucking tryhard. I swear. I thought I was on call for so long. Honestly, I just say I'm on. Say I'm playing like stuff with my friends. Um, I mean, to be fair, my dad already probably knows that I stream. Because basically. I think it was on Tuesday, no it wasn't on Tuesday, it was, it was last week, last week, I was streaming Sims, and, uh, no, 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 fucking try hard, but anyways, I was, anyways, I was streaming Sims the other day, and my dad comes in, and he's like, and he's like, hey, do you want me to buy those packs you said you wanted, and I was like, sure, and I was just like, and I was just like, okay, I have to mute my stream. You're not gonna even get my fucking bed. But yeah, it's coming from three years and I don't ever plan on telling them. Dude, like seriously. Yeah, I don't ever plan on telling them that I stream. <laughs> but yeah. Also, also. Um also, I I know I told people at the start of stream, but you guys weren't here, so it's difficult to explain the concept of streaming. Exactly. Exactly. Like my dad 
probably is like somewhat familiar with streaming. When the fuck did I my bed go? When the fuck did my bed go? But yeah, my dad probably already somewhat knows of the concept of streaming. And honestly, I don't really care about him knowing. Because he's just like, eh, whatever. It's easy, I talk strangers online. Literally. <laughs> I will just probably lie and just say, oh, I just talked to my friends. I just talked to my friends on stream. And she would just be like, yeah, cool, whatever. My mom will probably take some sort of issue of it, but she'll be like, you're almost 18, it's fine. My family <laughs> hasn't grasped what chat is still. I mean... I mean, if my mum does find out what Twitch actually is, I'll probably just, I'll probably just have to explain to her that it's like, that it's like Instagram live. They don't get that I can't hear them. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, just a big old family. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think with my mum, I have a big, bigger issue with telling my mum rather than telling my dad. Because I have a feeling she'll just snitch to my entire family. And then my entire family will want to make Twitch accounts just to watch me. And then I'll be like, well, oh shit. Because, and then I'll be like, and then I'll probably have to become like more PG. Imagine the horror people can be heard in Twitch chat. Exactly. Ima imagine the horrors on Sugar Stream if she could just hear us. I mean, that would just be fu so fucking funny. But like, if my if my mom, it would be the worst. Yeah, it would be. But like, if my if my mom told everyone in my family, I have a ton of younger. I have a ton of like younger, um, like cousins who might want to watch me like play Minecraft, and I don't have the heart to tell them that I'm not a PG streamer. <laughs> so I'll just have to like tone it down a lot, and it'll just be like so like fucking boring because then it would just be like oh i'm not able to swear you know <laughs> it would be a beautiful chaos and the thing is if like it's like my aunt was like oh yeah they can watch twitch if it's only like watching poppy and i'd be like no 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 this this is only for only because my friends made me do it and, I, and i'll just I'll just give her all the reasons why they can't watch my Twitch without saying that I'm not PG. I show my super younger brother my streams on mute and he loves it. I mean, to be fair, my um, young cousins would probably love that I stream like Minecraft. But also, there's the problem of me also streaming horror games. So, so I literally will probably have to filter out like all of the why did I press it? There. I'll probably have to fill the horror games name problem. Yes. Yes, and plus I and plus I have all the horror games I've streamed uploaded to YouTube. So it's like a big thing. Could you make a just a make a five minute loop of you talking and speak a bit? <laughs> Not gonna lie, Sugar's bro Sugar's brother would probably love it anything. Horror games seem even that scary, but they probably would be scary to my cousins. He generally would be just inside. <laughs> your your brother is just so cute. <laughs> like, literally, there's I literally know one thing he says, and it's me how me how, and it's so cute, <laughs> and it's so cute. Me how yeah. <laughs> just so cute. <laughs> it's just so cute. This is true. <laughs> we have nom nom. We have... This just shows how much I come to your streams. I just know your brother so well. <laughs> we have nom nom. <laughs> but yeah, I probably wouldn't want to show. I wouldn't probably wouldn't want my like to show my younger cousins until like they're like a little bit older. Like, my Twitch. Like, my older cousins. Like, my eldest cousins, I'd probably be fine with. Don't work. Oh, yeah, don't work. I'd probably be fine with my older cousins. Like, watching my Twitch, because it's like, 
my oldest cousin is 14 and she's like, and it's like, ah, he's 14, whatever. That didn't bloody work, did it? But yeah, I'd, I'd probably be fine with like my older cousins, like my two eldest cousins, like watching my... And I'm just absolutely doing trash today. I'd probably be fine with my eldest if you guys are in or not. Never mind, not exactly. But yeah, I'd probably be fine with showing my older cousins because it's like, they're like of age to have like switch accounts. They're like 13 and 14. 14 13 and 15? 14 and 15? I don't know. I don't bloody know. I'm gonna die here right now. Oh fuck. I thought I was gonna at least get out of bed then. <laughs> but yeah, if like my younger cousins find out about like the stuff I stream, they I'll like watch my streams, then it would probably like raise some questions. I'm crazy because I this gameplay. <laughs> I am trash at bed I don't play hybrids a lot. Usually it's literally on it's literally whenever I play Minecraft, it's either a single player on my own creative server and or on our work. So every single girl who's playing has quite so many incredibly That's literally so real. So real. I don't play bad work. It's just water. <laughs> Jax, please. I don't play bad work a lot, so I I also don't play a lot of fighting games. So I just leave after I get to I need to too much pressure. Fair. Merry Christmas. Merry late Christmas, everyone. Merry late Christmas, everyone. <laughs> to be fair, like, I think I ha I think it's because I started out as a Bedwatch streamer. That I was like, yeah, I kind of remember how this works. Early Xmas. Early Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry early Christmas, everyone. Still got another like eleven months to go, but whatever. But you know, let's go. Let's go. No way. What? <laughs> Happy birthday. My birthday is in Jack's. My birthday is like in like a month. Everybody needs to just be up. That's why Christmas time is on me anyway. Yeah! Why not? Why not? Early birthday. Thank you, thank you. Close enough. It's in like a month and a bit. And I died. <laughs> it's in like a month and a bit, so. Close enough. Karma. That was, that was fucking karma on them right there. Good job, I have a spare and stone. I just did a little trolling, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit of the old trolling, you know, you know. What did I just find by fucking wood? I don't have any gold left. But yeah. I think I'm more mainly because of the fact that I stream horror games, and it was really great. Ayo, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, yo. Okay, better take my iron and my gold. And... Run off from my base. Okay. Just pile up, just pile up. Let's just pile up. Minor amounts of trollage? Exactly. Now I'm on my way to yellow bed. And because it says solos, I'll absolutely get there before them. 
because they died. And I'm gonna die, but I do not care because I got I actually got a bed that yeah, I actually got a bed that game. But yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I should do more. I should do more bedwars streams. Honestly, they are like kind of so much fun. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's let's, let's go. I feel like I'm learning. <laughs> Honestly, you're learning from a major noob over here. <laughs> I don't. Was Little Miss Fortune good? I didn't see the end. Did she finish on the stream? I did finish on the stream and it was so good. It was so good. I still need to get all the achievements though. I haven't gotten like all the achievements yet, but you know what? It was still like really good. It was still, <laughs> it was still such a good game. Highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend that game. And plus, it's like a very short game as well. It's like three hours. So you can do it in like. A decent amount of time you can do it you can probably you can do it in like one stream like i did also i would i would also recommend dark da2 that is also such a good game such a good horror game like oh fuck it takes like a while to figure out what you need to do on the like levels like for my like first playthrough like ever which i did off stream um of dark um it took me like an hour to figure out each level but when i actually finally like streamed it it took me like 20 minutes uh to like to, to like to do like each level uh summer is a good horror game so relaxing i've heard of summer i haven't i haven't watched like I don't think I've watched any like playthroughs of it. I've watched some sort of explained videos on Soma. But it does look like a good game. Not gonna lie, I love horror videos. I love watching horror games. It's just there's some games that I know I won't be able to like play through because I know I just don't like those those games. Like for example, I love watching like FNAF fan games. Specifically from this one guy called Super Horror Bro. The only guy I'll watch FNAF fan games. FNAF is the biggest horror I can deal with. <laughs> um, I think that's main, main, That's probably because FNAF relies on jump scares. I love people, expo people explain them after they play them. Same. I absolutely, absolutely love them. Fun fact, the first video I ever watched of Super Horror Bros was a story explained for Alice Mando's Returns. FNAF of course, those guys are living life out of me. I think... I think... I haven't watched it. I think I've only watched like maybe like I think I've only watched playthroughs of I think it was I think I've only watched uh playthroughs of Custom Night and of Custom Night and um what's the newest one? I can't think of it. Security breach. I think I've only watched one of custom, custom world, custom night, and um, I think I've only watched custom night and security breach. That's like it. That's like it out of the like main fan games. Let me check. That is custom night is a good one. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mainly just literally watch. Uh, I think it's called yellow. I literally only watch like fan games because I love me some fan games. I think it's though like I think for me the original games. See why am I glitching? I, I'm glitching. Ah fuck. The fan games are much weaker than the original ones. I feel like a lot of the original games are a lot more repetitive for me, for my liking. Like for me, I, I love me the fan games because they actually put like some sort of like depth and like lore into the games that I probably wouldn't have like 
seen like otherwise and i still will only watch them if it's like by super horror bro because that dude is amazing and plus i probably wouldn't have actually gotten into horror if it wasn't for him so you know i actually i think i think when i started playing horror games i was absolutely terrified of like the gate i was absolutely terrified but now it's like well it's spooky jump scares do i care not really like i recently got a playthrough of um, what about horror games that are just png png psychology too good at those i play one game that's kind of similar to that but it's literally just like i need to play a game that's similar to the png horror thing where it's literally it's not png it's definitely models but it's all dark deception and it's literally just like if pac-man was the simplest way i can put it if pac-man was a free horror game that's the simplest way i can put it but with different models from like each level and i think that's the only game I'll probably be the end type of the game. Mainly because I like I hate being chased around. I have a, I have a lot of fun. me i love a lot of psychological horror games so be coming out with a third game maybe i'm not too sure though like a sequel to fanbo and miss fighting let me see uh fanbo sequel uh fanbo little miss fighting I swear I saw like that they were like oh yeah. and I was wondering why pink wasn't coming because they're literally dead okay let's see what about red oh yellow is there oh they're over there I'm gonna look now but I may return have a good rescue too okay okay see you later sugar see ya hope you have a good luck with whatever you're doing but yeah, I love the, I just love Fendo and the other side Um, but yeah. I'm not sure what to play after that. Hmm. I haven't seen it. After I finish Dark Deception, Spot Tube, and, um, and, like, Dark Deception and, like, Miss Spot Tube and Fendo. Like, after I get all the achievements for, like, Fanbo, for Fanbo and Miss Fortune, um, I have been, like, maybe thinking about doing Little Nightmares. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure, though, if I do want to play Little Nightmares or not. But I have been thinking about it. 
like little nightmares and little nightmares too seems like such a good like game but you know what we'll get there when we come to it we'll get there when we come to it uh okay we're rotating chicken of course i'm gonna buy chicken carrots and um, let's see let's see um, but I'm also not sure what other games to buy after that. What other horror games to play, like, after Little Nightmares. I mean, there will be, I will do streams on, like, the... Um, did he, I don't think, uh, but watch out when it overheats. Okay. I won't play these down then. But, um, I'm not sure what games to play after that. Bro, that play maybe when maybe or maybe he asks a fathom with the introduction. I'm gonna be so quiet. Um, oh, there's a fathom like just because it looks pretty good. the concept art and that concept art like a little bit like our stream which is fresh guys I can't remember what this was supposed to be about but but man I'm really hyped for that was the title um at the end of my uh, like final Alice Mando Potential stream and I did like a bit ago like a couple of weeks ago like two three two ish three weeks two three weeks ago at this point um I hope they do like patch up a few of these things in Alice Asylum when it eventually goes into the production because I think like the, it's in the like the concept art stage right now because EA it's been the worst with like copyright and stuff because if you don't know EA like owns the copyright to Alice Man of Returns so I like that whole like universe which sucks but you know we cope we cope and Alice Man of Returns and like that whole American McGee Alice franchise is it's so cool. Like one thing I did really enjoy about um one thing I really did enjoy about like Mad Returns and that whole like universe is how good the graphics were and how good like the level design were was. Like if you think about it, Alice Mad Returns is Jesus Christ. Alice Mad Returns is a like what twelve game. Fuck you, fuck you. Alice Mad Returns is like a like twelve twelve year old game, I think. Yeah, good enough. It's not gonna do much for you in the event of you falling down a cliff. Oh, it's just us in red. Okay. And we have probably have to take the initiative. And go over to red. Okay, do we have okay, I'm gonna buy a wall bucket and some TNT. Be that one annoying player. Um, okay, where is Red? Where is Red? Um, Red is... Um... Uh, 
somewhere over here. Okay, I fear I may be running out of wool soon. Okay, is this red? I believe it is. Okay, well, red is not it. Okay, my bed was destroyed, so I can't just die and then go back to my base. Okay. So, to find where red is now. Okay, let's go up top. Let's go up top. Thank you, Dax, for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, where is red? I assume. Okay, so over there. Just bridge this way. Over. And let's see, let's see. Okay, I only have iron. You gotta win this now, it's the only, only way. Only way, only way. Oh! <laughs> right after you say that, Matt, I, I die. Right after I say that, I die. Okay. We gotta get a few more games in. We gotta get a few, a few more games in before. <laughs> We gotta get in a few a few more games in now. But that was so that was so great. That was such a good game. That was such a good game. You won. Basically I won. Basically I won. It's gonna gaslight the system into making you think I basically won. I basically won. I basically won. Okay. So I think I should go and to an emerald gen. I see an emerald gen right over there. It's in my direct side of sight, so I think I kind of want to get an emerald gen and be that toxic player and get. Okay, I'm gonna bridge over to them, but I kind of want to be that toxic player and get obsidian, but I know that's probably what happens. It's always a win. Fourth is a little. What the fuck is that? Fuck you, pink. This is me being a kind of toxic player. Not gonna lie. They literally just fell off. And that was a mess. I, I was literally hitting with my iron. I died. <laughs> okay, let's go. And my bed dish dried already. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm just going this way. There we go. That's the life, in it? I can't grab the uh, Whatever. Okay, pink is going over to mine. But I could just probably jump over here, get blue. Except blue is right there, unless. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> Hey, at least we got a bed. At least we got a bed. At least we got a bed. At least we got a bed, eh? At least we got a bed. At least we got a bed. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. I please need free beds for challenge. Bruh. Big bruh moment right now. Especially for an MVP plus plus. You know? Hmm. Again, like I said, I kind of want to go 
to men and yeah like and more than shit but will that realistically why why are you here what is your problem What is your problem, dude? Please. Please. I bet this dude is gonna try and get my base because he said he needed um, three beds. Yep. He's coming back. Let's go. Have a good look. I swear this dude. I need that wood as well. Wood as well. Should have gone for the other bit, but whatever. Dude. Dude, why are you going for my bed? Just go to another bed. And for fuck's sake, just go for be another bed. There are more. There are more than. Uh, there are more than three players on this map. Like, bruh. That was a big bruh moment right there. Just the biggest bro moment right there. Go easy on me as well. <laughs> oh, people are listening. I don't like people who rush. Like. Like. You'll see double XP this game. Nice. <laughs> I don't really care about XP that much. Except whenever I'm in the Bedwars lobby, I've been stuck at 4.8k out of 5k for so long. I just need 200 thousand more. It has been annoying me for a while. Not gonna lie, it's been annoying me for like the last like few days. No, the last like week because last week we did a Bedwars stream with like. All the other, like a ton of the other so smart streamers and stuff. And how is the bed gone already? Jesus Christ. Back in my day when bed was still new five years ago, no one used to rush and no one needed to be in a game. That makes me sound so sad. It makes me feel so old that I was literally here when bed was released. Like, I remember when this was literally a brand new game. And why? How did I get obliterated by someone on two health? On four health now. Ow. And I might as well get wolf. And just pick up any only have wolf. And I might as well fire. Come down then. Come down then. I'm gonna get a little radio, I know it. Yep. Okay, let's play a few, a few more like solo games then. I shall do rants about Alice Asylum because I'm very excited for that game. I think that game was supposed to be coming out in like 2019 or 2020 but just get get pushed back because EA is a great company so yeah 
I think a lot of like the stuff, a lot of the stuff that a lot I think a lot was I think a lot of stuff that um Mr American McGean himself has is on his Patreon and what the fuck, dude? Try hard as well. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of the stuff that Michael McGee does have is on his Patreon. And dude, dude, let's pretend we didn't do that game. But yeah, I think a lot of stuff that Michael McGee does have is on his Patreon. But I still want to go through a lot of the, like, publicly available stuff, you know? Just the, like, publicly, publicly, like, available like, stuff. <laughs> Should I just try and push someone? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's grab that and then some wool. Oh no, okay. Let's go grab some more stuff. And why does everyone keep coming to over to my bed? I fucking swear. I'm so fucking done. We don't talk about this game. I just want to go to mid. I swear. Why is that guy? Fucking hell! Why? Why are you just coming over to my bed? I swear. Life of a bedwars player. Where is this dude? That. You are literally on full health. I could kill you. I could go get that guy's bed right now. Just to spite that guy. Okay, one more game, one more game, and then we'll do the whole run about Alice Asylum. One more game. I also have this cute hot bar texture pack on. I cannot remember where I got it. I think I just got it off Planet Minecraft. But it is so cute. And I swear, if I get that person next to me again, I will scream. I will scream. Okay, so I'm on white. That guy is on uh, gray. Dark gray. Okay, we have pink next to us and cyan next to us. Okay, but he's literally right over there. For fuck's sake. Okay, let's get some wool. Uh. Do a little bit of this, this, and this, and get some more wool because I know we will eventually run out. 
And why did I get a stone sword? I don't know. I like to keep an eye on things. I think that's why I can come over here. Okay, fine, isn't trying to come up. Okay, we'll have to go back because Pink is trying to come over here. For fuck's sake. Life of a bedwars boy. Now I know why I don't play bedwars anymore. It's too stressful as shit. Especially why I don't play solos. Come down then. I'm ready to fire. Come on then. And the friend bridge. Because why not? I need me some diamonds. Fuck. For fuck's sake. This is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens when I play Bed Wars by myself. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm just probably just gonna try and get armor then. Soon. Okay, let's just try cyan food. And I died because <laughs> I don't have iron armor. I don't have iron armor. Fuck. Okay. 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 Alice is Alice Asylum fan. Alice Asylum fan. Okay, so let me just turn this up to you. It's a silo. Let's just do this thing. So, I'm probably going to run up. Why don't you let me change my category? This, I've had this problem before. Just trying it. There we go. There we go. And oh my god, I realized I haven't tagged, I haven't pinged the Discord. <laughs> this is what happens when my bot goes on. Uh, I'm now just going to see alive. There we go, there we go. Okay. So, Alice, I love you. Let's switch it over to this one here. Uh, that just takes it straight. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole thing. There we go. This is how I want. Okay. Go to the fan building with you. I thought I'm pretty sure that's what they're getting for. Okay. So, this is the case by Amari McGee. Trying to release 2020s. So, this is this decade. I'm trying to release this in. Release a They're interested in publishing the goal. Is it interested in publishing? And like I said, um, it's called it's just cause EA. Yeah, EA. Yeah, EA has IPs. 
Um, he intends to obtain permanent holdership to the LSP license. We have space for him to do what he says in the future, such as create the official Alice games, merchandise, book film, etc., without going through the obstacles of EA. As we all know, EA is a shit ass company. She doesn't really care about the games and only cares about making money. Okay, so, potential plot. And. Primarily, growing up like grow Alice like growing up so it takes place like at the start of the game it takes place like before Alice Madison returns but at towards the end of the game but towards it goes through Madison, the timeline of Madison returns and after Madison returns because it says here while the player begins as a 13 year old Alice Alice becomes like an adult, um, and then we play as an adult of um, adult Alice for the rest of the game. Because in Madness Returns, she was 19. In Mad yeah, in Madness Returns, Alice was 19 years old. So, um, um, it allows. Um, I tell him to explain questionable plot elements of previous games, such as why the Red Queen of Hearts is called the Red Queen, or why Alice is the Red Queen. It's simultaneously between overall narrative. Because if you don't know, in the original Alice in Wonderland, like, sorry, and Alice and in the original Alice in Wonderland, the last story of by Lewis Carroll, the Red Queen and Queen of Hearts were two different characters. Let me show you. So. Queen of Hearts. Um, Queen of Hearts, Lewis version. So this is the Lewis, like, I'm guessing this one is the Lewis Carroll version. And then, you know, Hearts, you know. And then if we look at the Red Queen, this is the Red Queen. She looks, this the Queen of Hearts looks much more like a Queen chess piece. While the Queen of Hearts, okay, this is Queen of Hearts, not Red Queen. This is Queen of Hearts, technically, not Red Queen. Um, but yeah, this would much be more. These are the ever after, after high versions of the characters, not the Lewis Carroll versions, but point still stands. The Red Queen looks much more like a chess piece. While the Queen of Hearts has much more, her has much more card symbolism. It's much more like a card than a, than the Queen chess piece. Okay, so in the latest script, Alice is shown to be suffering from severe amnesia. Um, does not remember Wonderland or Cheshire Cat. I'm guessing that kind of makes sense, seeing as though it's been ten year, over ten years since. Madness Returns and like 23 years since Alice, the first game. So it would just be like to refresh new like players, I guess, because and plus a lot of players on Madness Returns haven't even played a lot of fans these this series haven't actually played the first game. Like I haven't played the first game. And a lot of fans have actually weren't born when the first game was released. Like I wasn't born. When the first game released back in 2000. Um, so it kind of like refreshes the story. Um, after the beginning tutorial, Alice remembers her family being deceased. She could see to remember her time at Rutledge Asylum, as well as working for Bumby at the orphanage. Eventually, Alice regains her memories and is part of the present. Alice Overland, which I guess would be a another game, would be set after Asylum or the scene. Oh, wait, Alice of Overland. I think that's a YouTube thing. I think it is. Anyways, Alice Overland. Is it? Yeah, these. 
these two like these two things if you haven't watched these yet these two like animated like bits this anime e s one and this like claymation stop motion one which is super creepy but i love it i, I love both of those i've watched those um um asylum um focusing on plot threads that are not uh, not answered in matters of terms what happened to what read this oh i thought I thought I was talking about the, um, I thought it was just Bumby for a second and I was like, what? What happened to Radcliffe and Pris versus during Madison's terms? If you don't know, Radcliffe is, like, the family's, like, lawyer, is, you know, Alice's family lawyer and, like, solicitor. And then Pris, she's just an old woman that knows, um, Alice, she's, she was one of, Alice's caretakers in Rutledge Asylum. Um, 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 because, like, literally we don't know what happened to them. Like, Chris is shown in, like, the first part of Madness Returns, but then never mentioned again. And... Um, Radcliffe is mentioned um, around the Oriental Grove area of the game, but then it's never mentioned. It's barely mentioned again. What happened to the children of the Hounds, Houndsditch home for the youth of the game? Who became their ne- next care t- no, new caretaker? I assume that maybe Chris would become the new caretaker. I don't know why, but I feel like she would become the new ta- caretaker. Why is Alison would lend the land? Will she be able to escape from it? And will she be able to control it? That remarks that Alice cannot return home. If you don't know, Lunderland is the mixture of London and Wonderland. And a pay and it's literally the last. Of the game. Um, who is Alice's replacement that Bumby was written? Waiting for and how they react to the events that unfold at the end of Madness Returns. It's suggested that they arrived at the train station not long after Bumby's death because literally Alice and Alice because literally if you don't know spoilers for Alice Madness Returns, but it's like a thirteen year a twelve year old game, so so basically at the end of the game, the way Bumby dies is that Alice pushes him onto the train tracks at the like train station and then a train because Bumby was waiting for his like new arrival like Alice's replacement but then Alice is put Alice pushes him in front of a moving train and we can assume that that Alice's replacement was on that train so who is that? How society reacted when we death from Mango Body be found on the train tracks at the train station? He said to be respected member. Society would Alice be suspected and would she be able to live as a free woman or could she cover it up as a suicide since no one else was apparently in the train station with society and the police really believe the killing from a mad woman as won't be claimed? Would Alice be involved in the court trial and would Alice be able to uncover the event? To back up her claim. So I feel like Nan Sharp would maybe cover it up because I feel like, don't quote me in this, but I feel like she knew something was up with Bumby. Like, I feel like she, I feel like Nan Sharp knew something was going, something was weird about Bumby. And I feel like, okay, Radcliffe maybe in the trial because i don't know how i don't know if he was like a general lawyer or just helped the like helped out the family with like proxy stuff i guess that's what solicitor does right i was thinking money stuff but then now i'd be an accountant or solicitor but also how does being a solicitor lawyer person 
work out now. I would love to see how that works in how that works in Asylum. Um, Nine Sharp, who I've always said is is um Alice's old nanny and became a um I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or whatever on like YouTube, whatever. Can figure for Alice who most likely tried to find Alice after her incident with Radcliffe. Um see if she found her rabbit doll and to discover Alice disappeared. I'm concerned to Alice's safety for Madam's turns. What was Nan up to in the like second half of Madam's returns? And what would how Alice explains what happened to with Bumby to Nan Sharp? Um, because she she Nan Sharp appears in like the like first Nan Sharp appears in like the third in like in between the third like the first official stage in between I believe it's it, it's in between um Hatter's Domain and Deluded Depths. I think that's when that takes place. Um, how did Alice get implied at the Royal Opera House in that was shown in Overland? She showed us a couple of she was a murder suspect in Bumby's likely death case, unless that was covered up. Given that the little family was a wealthy family, they would have most likely been given burials and grave signs in the cemetery. Did or does Alice eventually meet them? Potentially, maybe. Um, and the latest track in Jason's draft two twists regarding Wonderland's place, Wonderland's nature, surface that is small and located on Mark's side of shell, and that was just something the whole time. Because if you don't know, basically, the whole premise of Asylum is that it takes place in Wonderland at least, it takes place in like a circus. And so, and it goes over, like it shows here, you might not be able to see, see it, but it goes over like the seven stages of grief. And premise, um, it will show like 10 year old Alice at, no, her, Alice during her 10 year stay at Religious Silence, which would be 9 to 19. No. Seven, I don't know. I can't remember how long. Maybe like seven to seventeen. I cannot. I do not remember. I cannot remember how old she was in the original game. So, um, the however, the majority of Asylum takes place after Madam's returns. It was just that there's flashbacks to her childhood and like the first part of the game starts. So, the first part of the game is like before Madis turns, if that makes sense. Like before and during the first Alice game. Um I'm going through the seven stages of grief. Um and in order to fulfill the part of an eight stages they use it they're using the chaos symbol, whatever this is. They also have a visual one as slumber and Wonderland will be extremely affected by this with one of I uh, with one of each domain of the domains being influenced by um like each state of grief. So one will be shock, one will be denial, one will be anger, one will be bankrupt, one will be depression, one will be acceptance, whatever, whatever. So slumber, um she's able to talk to Caterpillar here. In this one, um, shock is in the little house of like, and we'll be able to control thirteen year old Alice in the tutorial. Um, once, cause once I don't know what that word is, um, that there will be a like once like exposed that there will be a bomb thought and Wonderland would be just broken up into like different pieces, and then they'll each area of Wonderland would be like, I think I'll go through some of the things that they are 
and then there's a, the surface which I was talking about which would be denial um, and then a moon which is supposed I'm not, not sure which one this is supposed to be Queen's castle which is supposed to be anger out if you want I'll pin I'll put this in the description of the VOD if you want to like look at this or oh, whatever if you want to look at this you'll see for yourself i'm only like kind of skimming over this kind of just like talking about this because i have talked about this before and then she'll have like a few like intermission memories passive domain will be bargaining veil of tears which will be depression which if you don't know it's like the first area in it's like the first area in my daughter's turns that area of Madison so I'm so glad that's going to be in the um, probably going to be that's a, like a concept for asylum then land of fire and brimstone will be testing where Alice's rabbit doll is eaten by the Jabberwock which was killed in the first game and its skeleton is seen in the um, second game Wait, it's seen in Queen. Oh yeah, it's seen in Queensland. Probably because it's like instituted in Queensland, maybe. Um, this is in. This is the Jabberwocky in the first game. Jabberwocky figures. I never knew what these were. I never knew what those were. They're just. The they're just the heads of the Jabberwocky. Okay. I, I never knew what those were until now. And then we've got the Bobble Blade Lodging with the Jabberwocky's skeleton. Uh, the stage is Fabric Seeking Realism. Solutions, reality eventually starts to buy it, and the person realizes they can't stay in a deep dark hole the breakfast forever. Yeah. And then another intermission memory, which would be take place in the hatter's domain. Ending London in London, Alice Feb, Ratcliffe, he's weak, but Alice follows him, calling out him out for all the terrible things he's been a part of. Um, a little girl called Angela touches that bit Radcliffe on what is happening, but he angrily demands her to shut her mouth. Alice enters Radcliffe's Wonderland or other land to destroy his mind while well, Radcliffe is incapa incapacitated in reality. Alice is writing the police officers into the room. Radcliffe in fury aggressively attacks Alice but is captured by police. Alice proceeds, Alice proceeds to meet Angela. She is revealed to be Angela Radcliffe's his daughter and asks Angela, Angela where she should, would like to go now due to her family father being arrested. Angela replies that she would like to go wherever Alice is going to and the two leave. And then Alice, is, Alice opens an orphanage and then we've got some just who would be in this I guess so we've got Alice in a new dress we've got the little family again I'll go through these in a minute we've got um we've also got Radcliffe, Nan Sharp um not much care of her in the most recent draft however um Dr. Bumby in flashbacks, Diner probably in flashbacks, Asylum Residence again probably in flashbacks, Witless again flashbacks, Wilson who this person is, no other references to Maitland in recent drafts however does appear in uh, flashback scenes, Orderly, Nurses, Cratchit who again I assume just work and Lila is asylum, Cheshire Cat, obviously Dr. Gratham, Surgeon who manages Alice's case during her treatment at the infirmary, only mentioned in Wilson's case book. Dr. Samson is mentioned as having died in an accident with a surgical implement, implement, whatever that means. Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter, Dormouse, Jabberwock, Queen of Hearts, Red Queen, White Rabbit. Okay, so these will probably be different characters then. Mock Turtle, Cassidy, Carpenter, Tudor B and Tudor, Tudor Tudor, Tudor D, uh, The Walrus, uh, Griffin, Duchess, Zelma D, Neva Parks, Humpty Dumpty, 
in this world, no one ever stays dead because you know, at least in Wonderland, because it's Wonderland, nothing ever has to like make sense. This is a uh, this is, I'm guessing is like Alice's like hysteria farm, a oh, rage ball rage box, which I guess it was just in. Yeah, it looks like this is just in. The first game, but these are similar to Rage and Hysteria. Hysteria was used in um, Madness Returns and Rage in the first game. Got some mm-hmm. different, like, more, got some more um, weapons similar to the first game. Because I've seen a lot of people, like, complain that... Um, that they didn't like that there was only four weapons in the in Madness Returns and but more in the first Alice game which I can see how people can take a problem with I haven't played the first game so I'm not, I don't really have a comment on like how good the weapons were compared to um compared to like the second game because I'm a very much like quality of a quantity person so i'd rather so for me i personally only rather play the second game which is a better game than play both games but struggle on the first game and just eventually give up you know so i've got jack in the box which is similar to the jack bomb um from the first game maybe yeah uh dice which is similar to demon dice from the first game so the cards, new version of the playing cards from the first game. Stuff Flamingo, Whipping Top, Spring Fest, Spring Chicken, Ice Shaven, Nutcracker. A lot of these are just stuff you'd associate with a circus, because why wouldn't you? You know? You know? Um, I know this game will have difficulty modes like previous games. Parties will probably return as many. Okay, so just playing with the lack of them in Madness Returns. Because if you don't know, if you don't know, um, in the, like, originally, the mech that um, Dormouse and the March Hare make at the end of, make and, like, show at, towards the end of um, the Hacker's Domain that eventually gets destroyed, was originally going to be a boss, and I think, and I think McGee might have, maybe McGee wanted to make a boss for every stage, which is why the pro, which is probably why, the Bumby um boss, was like shot because he wanted to do like a bo- might have wanted to do like do like a boss, at like the end of, like each stage, so it didn't feel didn't feel as sharp. But that obviously got caught, but the Bumby boss fight didn't make didn't get made longer. Which, you know, sucks, but whatever. Um uh, McGee says that multiplayer is not out of the question, although he's focusing on single player. For now there could be a court mechanic mechanic with one thing one controlling Alice and other controlling the Cheshire Hair Cat to solve puzzles. Or it means to give Alice support. However, given how Pat doesn't help I was physically in the sequels, it doesn't make much sense for him to be a physical fighter. If alone playing alone, then Cap could be controlled by an AI, and there could be a catch strip to switch function. The possibility of a multiplayer battle arena was also mentioned. Uh, aiming for 12 to 10 hours for a first playthrough. Um, which I feel like is better because the second game, uh, Alice Madness Returns. Uh, run time that's like 16 14 to 22 and a half hours and i got like 14 and hours 14 and a half hours the one he also mentioned dlc extended missions now there is dlc for man of returns um which is just like some dresses and stuff and i think it might be in a soundtrack maybe but i'm not interested in that um here however mcgee 
it hasn't come out for a while because the gear is definitely working with EA since Spicy Horse, which, if you don't know, was the gay was the game company that um created the first two games was disbanded, so she might have it outsourced. And I may may me may create a new team from scratch. Um, she doesn't have a funds to boost the demo, and an EA apparently rejects demos funded by crowds funding. So, so you know. Okay, let's look through the gallery. So this is the. Okay, this is one of the concept logos. It doesn't. This is says second logo, but you know. And this has. Okay, let's just, let's just actually go to. Um. Okay, one to sixteen. So we've got real world. Looking glass and border. This is the Queen of Hearts from, the second game. Uh, a poster. A non final po like poster cover art for Asylum, which I think is looks pretty cool. I always see this cover art for whenever someone mentions Asylum. I always see this one. I see, always see this one. So then we've got um an Alice in the Asylum. Um, seven stages of grief. We've got. I'm guessing this is like the chaos symbol, maybe. It's supposed to be the dollhouse, dollhouse maybe. So we've got paintings. We've got some people coming out with some paintings. We've got burning fire. So this might actually be in Alice's home. This is the Alice Alice Asylum Alice dollhouse like house. Okay, and then we've got a dog here with that freeze fire for some reason. Then we've got the shock house. So this is supposed to be the little family house that goes up in flames. We've got like a house like with like swords and stuff coming out of it and like a child Alice with her um rabbit toy a concept for Wonderland. You can see that there's some like weird aspects that you wouldn't expect of Wonderland, like this crack the baby head. And like there's a dark like snail with a castle on it. I think it's snail anyways, yeah, it's a snail. We've got the circus for denial. Here with like a circus elephant and then there's like a nutcracker and Humpty Dumpty and a balloon. I'm guessing Humpty Dumpty and like Tudor Dumpty will be coming to in the denial stage. And that's a shadow anime cover it's probably proposed for the denial stage because it looks like the circus stage we've got a pink land for i guess it again the circus stage with a doll with pins in it for some reason and fish because of course reasons because of course reasons um and then we've got more of the denial stage i'm guessing we've got a swambo and this weird thing over here a teddy bear here a first world with an oddly realistic baby face because of course we've got a car ride which has which is really creepy which is going to be probably one of the creepier side of the denial stage which i will probably actually really love because if we go from this all bright all colorful to then this i'm gonna eat that shit up I'm just gonna love that. And then we've got um probably this is probably a flashback. Um you can see that that's Elizabeth's grave and then this is her parents' graves over here. We've got like a skull a face with a hood thing on a stabbing thing. This is I think this is supposed to be like the courtyard of the um like the hedge maze of the Queen of Hearts. I said Alice's fault, so I'm guessing that's a flashback. And then we've got the House of Fire and Fury, 
which looks very similar to the sprint of the Inferno Spring. So maybe this is just where the Inferno Spring is. Oh, this is just where the Inferno Spring has become an actual castle. Or maybe that's just the normal Queen of Castle, I guess. Then I've got the Queen Castle interior with a new enemy robot type, I guess. Then Asylum has some has his domain exterior, so we have a creepy version, like a weird creepy version here, a more normal looking one. I guess that's not most that has his domain can get, but you know, this is certainly like a work more creepy version because of like the red and stuff and this and stuff. We've got the has his domain interior with Mister Mad Hatter himself and some chemistry equipment. And some like, rocks and stuff, and you know, some other stuff. So we've got a tea party here, some, some tea on Hatton's back for crazy reasons, and gravity is distorted because, of course, it is. And then we've got the mock turtle here. Alice is surrounded by these might be like sirens or mermaids or like ghosty mermaid jellyfish things because we did see the jellyfish, jellyfish in one of the earlier. One for the surface for the denial stage, not for the denial stage. The surface stage. Sorry. No, that is the denial stage. Then we've got the goldfish queen and an Alice mermaid, which I kind of like the concept of. I I think Alice as a mermaid would be would, would look pretty cool. Then we've got um uh, this is this is the caterpillar on a frozen lake. So that kind of looks pretty cool. That looks really cool with an Aurora Borealis at the end. Of then we've got the Depression Tree. We've got a doll with no head on a rock and I had no idea what that was then. Then we've got some, some teddy bears. Yeah, and like a bunny. I guess that's what she might be trying to get. Then we've got Depression Street. So you can see how small Alice is. And like just how bright her colour pattern is compared to everyone else. Just how obvious she stands out compared to everyone else. And I've got depression rooftop, so I'm guessing this is gonna be a parkour area. Which you gotta love parkour, especially if it's gonna be more well refined and now because obviously it's gonna be releasing in the twenty twenties compared to the early twenty tens and the literal early 2000s. Then we've got the Looking Glass Railway with Mock Turtle as like the conductor owner of it again instead of um, the doll maker whoever was owning it before. Then we've got the railway exterior you can see there's the depression tree right there with the veil of tears with an underground train entrance with the mermaid here we have a toy store here, and then we just have a sign here. Uh, okay, with spots on this. With text on this. Okay. So, name Lucky Glass Railway. Gameplay Main Hub and Commerce. Stage Depression. Characters The Carpenter. Mock Turtle. Wait, was Carpenter actually in this? I don't see Carpenter. Um, okay, thought. So Hatter can move to this island and build a lab. We're working on upgrading creative stuff for Alice as she collects stuff around Wonderland. Helping him build a new lab after his old one got bombed or something. Or is that old one got destroyed in um Mad of Turns? After it got flooded with tea. He can travel with her by train, but somehow she'll be left alone in the underworld world and she'll get here alone. Toysta will belong to a shadowy bumby. Weapons of toys. Strictly as a, uh, strictly a weapon to Thor because Bumby was the doll maker and she'll help the memories of Bumby to, to, to get him because obviously um, so she'll probably and this is her wonderland so he might be in her wonderland she needs ideas because reason because I guess he doesn't have many reasons to start the depression tree only after the game to the station, fast travel becomes optional. Let's go. Fast travel. 
I think I live in Alice Chest Rabbit, so I'm guess we'll have to do some zip zapping, zig zapping, zip zapping between chest pieces, I guess. I've got some colored fish on top of this, like, the stage where this might be Inferno Crane or. Why am I so obsessed with Inferno Crane? Inferno Crane, um, in the castle. Floating, floating garden maze concept. Kind of like that infinite stairs that has like a no way out kind of picture that goes around the internet. You know? Um, find the path to escape through mirrors, jump into the wrong mirrors, was transport Alice to either starting point or somewhere else. So, we'll probably have to figure out like from like these and something. I just don't want it to be like a trial and error for this stage. We've got Alice and Alice Render, which we've already seen. The Alice portrait. So, we have the father, the mother, Lizzie, and then Alice. And then we've got another little family. There were them playing cards with Lizzie, their mum, their dad, and then Alice right here. We've also got um, the Queen of Hearts right here. Or uh, this might be the um, little family as like Queen of Hearts, like the chest and oak. We've then got like this is probably a flashback to Asylum Bombay. Like reflection here, and then we've got dolls here, and then a spring here, I guess, and then this rod here, and then this weird doll here, and a heart thing there. So we may have to shout that in a flashback, maybe. Got the treasure hat, we've got before fire and after fire, so before, after, like rage mode, the version of rage mode, and we've got different versions of. After, again, this is, I like to forget what we did, so we have, um, March Head, a Dormouse, so those are probably them after the whole tea incident in Mind of the Sense, you know? And then we have the Jabby wa Jabberwocky, um, first appears like the original novel, completely flesh and bones, and then we've got Scale texture only if they could render it the right way, I guess. With Jabberwock may not be Robin, as in Alice, whatever. Alice um, won't see the organs, his belly will be good. The wings are not organized as in previous games, and his tail is partially metal. Okay, then we've got a dragon fight. Which looks pretty cool, looks to be an outside castle probably. Then we've got a version of then we've got a version of the Queen of Red Hearts. Or the Queen of Hearts, I guess. Um original Queen of Hearts. Original Norman design. With her caption up the like bunny head here. And then I'm guessing that's the White King's like head. You know? Uh we've got her original concept um with a mask that was that would come off into this thing which looks like kind of looks like a grape and then her size in comparison to alice so she'll be significantly taller and then her eyes are going to be same color as alice um it seems elegant so she has several meters for alice and things change when she dies with the show Tries to show true color, take up a mask underneath his or her boots. Um, face. Then we've got the. We've got someone. The Queen of Hearts. Taking off the Red Queen of Hearts, taking off her mask again. I, this is called I Survived Fire. So. Then we've got. Again, another concept art for Alice in Madrid's Church. Madrid's Church. Alice Asylum, even. It's like the border. Uh, the mother as the Red Queen, but she still needs a name. Uh, advocates flexibility, creativity, and inspiration of all parts. Represents Queen of Hearts, represents conformity, obedience, and rules. 
um, mirrors, chaos of the order, queen in chess contains all the moves of the other pieces, pop into the king. So maybe this enemy might like reflect your moves, and maybe what will happen is maybe we'll have maybe we just copy her moves. And then sacrifice your queen so this queen dies and then this is like the king and then all the other pieces and these are like two versions of alice or maybe alice and lizzie and uh, red king holding the queen and we have tweedle dumb and tweedle d in the plant version the poster for tweedle dumb and tweedle d we've got some of the concept art for some of the like um enemies and stuff but bat like baby we got flowers one with an eye and one with a teeth but two forms of teeth we've got beetle like a stag beetle we've got doll bugs the one that looks like a uh, that one that looks like a stag beetle and a child and one with like, um, one with like a pincer tail. And then we've got card anime, card card animes, pumpkins, rats, teeth for some reason, babies and dog knights and uh twins. We've got um like a piranha shark thing, just some other like fish shark, like a shark. We've got a teddy bear and a child. We've got a spider anime which will be absolutely terrifying to me i hate spiders i like that caterpillar thing again that will be terrifying terrifying to me i hate them but tweedle d and tweedle dumb uh the heart the dormouse and mark hair and then we've got alice and her shadow form down at the bottom there and we've got alice in her like ash form music box the boxes are closed when they are found but when alice like opens it I guess they can play it in UI or in game then different stuff pops out according to different music so and the baby looks left and right looks left and right with the music tenta, tenta, uh, tentacles rise from bottom and wriggle with the music um and a fish that moves up and down and opens it mouth its mouth uh cakes that add HP the rabbit that has like energy or magic power a clock adds time to uh, maybe a time bar if alice could control time okay and then we've got some emotions um bosses i guess for reasons i don't i don't know the purposes of those then we've got a logo from that it returns we've got another alice in the asylum We've got another Alice Asylum like promo art. Another Alice Asylum promo art. More Alice Asylum promo art. Her on fire. Her in the Asylum on fire. I've also seen this one quite a lot as well. Oh my god, I didn't realise that she was ripping out the heart of a flamingo. That is weird. And we've got a Alice with like a baby and that's the baby head with mushroom going out and when you realize I just realized that in this photo the only color is literally this baby like this chair and like these mushrooms here and oh my god the baby all has this look like and like maybe Alice's eyes maybe those are like the both colors and we've got all the um like nurses and doctors with Alice. Then Alice, this is very similar to this one. To this one. Like how she's posed and everything. You know. And we've got Alice again. Uh, Alice breathing a firehouse, which will probably lead to a like, memory that we have to go through. And we've got some tarot cards. For uh, like quite a few of the characters, uh, 
in the back in the dark. I'm not sure if he that's supposed to be maybe oh yeah that's supposed to be a um, red queen for the hearts whatever that's supposed to be Cheshire cat and got a card guard that's probably a maybe main card for a guard boss and we've got Alice and her shadow farm I quite like this one actually we have got like, some pigs and like the duchess here so what probably happened is that the pigs attacked Alice and then Alice killed one of them and then the Duchess is like after her. Which is kind of fair. But still. Here we've got Alice with like another promo art to put on Patreon. Patreon.com slash American ID. We've got a 13 year old Alice. We've got the fire mode on and off. Again, an internal fire dress. Um, usable pockets for which symbol no large stitchings, longer hall, longer hair even, higher belt, middle of the waist, belted high boots, um, more layers at petco, white and textured stockings, spades, gold, card cards, <laughs> denial dress, which I think looks pretty cute, the blackening dress, Ooh. I swear to you, people that's like buff Lolita style that look, has the same hairstyle in this, which I think I think is actually a pretty cool hairstyle. Not gonna lie. And we've got bargaining dress, which I I really I really love all these concept art. Got another bargaining dress right there. Uh, pleading dress. Ooh. And we've got a chaos dress. Another chaos. My favourite character. Oh, we've got another one as well. Oh, I quite like this one as well. And we've got a red dress. Uh, and a confidence aggression dress. Oh, this is which is like an armour dress, which I probably might be my favourite dress. And then there's like an actual hospital outfit, real world, asylum, wonderland. Uh, Kinda looks like the classic dress but black and then in battle. Uh ooh. Then we've got a surface version maybe. Maybe these one these like surface one the surface one might be a DLC, maybe. I'm not sure. And then the denial ones if they like the denial ones maybe. We've got a work in progress, uh death time dress. Uh if we will have it in game, death time still the time, whoever has time power up. I was stuck in my head for the longest time. It's pretty. It is a pretty dress. Depression. Ooh. Not gonna lie, I'm like behind with the with the uh, like ash hands. Kind of reminds me of Agatha from Dark Perception. We got a push dress, which is a DLC. Oh wait, it says the. Oh, wool tweedles. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a rabbit one day, which is the end of the DLC one. Just some more like some funny ones that that was a DLC. And we've got some more concept art for um Alice. We've got Madison Returns, Madison Returns, Madison Returns. These are all Madison Returns ones. Yeah, these are all from Madison Returns. Anyways. I think I better end the stream. It has been two and a, just over two hours. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the stream of just me playing, but playing Bedwars and just talking through Alice Madness Returns. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna link this. I'm gonna actually copy it and link it into the um description if you guys want to look through it. Um, um I am going to. Stream now, and I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.